Welcome to Daily Armor. Today, I'm in the book of Deuteronomy. I've been studying in the book of Proverbs for a few days. Um, and I've got really, I've got more questions than I've got answers. Um, and when I think about, um, when I think about that and I get frustrated with myself because I'm like, Lord, I'm, you know, I know I'm not really like excessively smart, but you know, I should be able to get some of this, you know, and I'm kind of like getting a little bit of it. I mean, do you ever like you read something, you're like, I, I'm, I'm kind of getting it, but I'm kind of not getting it. And, um, I was sharing it with Todd, um, was it last night or this morning? Now I can't remember just a few hours ago. That was this morning. Um, no, it was last night. It was last night. So, um, it was last night when I was reading, and of course, um, Todd is my husband, but he's also my pastor. And so sometimes um, I'm asking him something as my pastor. Um, and as usual, I'm asking him something that he has to say, hmm, that's very interesting. I'll have to study on that. He doesn't know everything. None of us knows everything. Um, but I do when I'm not really fully comprehending and understanding something or I know I'm missing something or I'm like right on the verge um, as I'm waiting for the Lord to help me with it, as I'm Lord waiting for the, you know, I'm asking questions and I'm waiting for it to be revealed. I do like to um, ask him to study it out with me. And he's was very interested in what I was studying in the book of Proverbs. Um, saying all that, I remembered what our pastor would tell us at our home church, and he would say, don't get so aggravated at yourself about those things that you don't understand or that you don't get, but there's plenty that we do understand that we do get. Um, there's plenty that I do know and that I do understand, and concentrate on that, and then as the Lord puts all those puzzle pieces together, it's going to make sense more in those questions that we have. In my study, I just it was just run across some scripture. I'm sure you do the same thing, and you're like, oh, I didn't notice that before, but, and, and that, that there's more to the story. There's more to that, and that's going to help me if I can just get it. You know, if I can just get it in my brain, that's going to help me if I can just if the Holy Spirit will just reveal to me what that is. And sometimes it takes some time. It takes some study. It takes some patience. It takes some diligence. So as this morning, I'm not in the book of Proverbs. I may refer to it a little bit, but I'm not in the book of Proverbs. I'm actually going to be in the book of Deuteronomy. I'm just thinking about, like, I was like, Lord, where do I go? While I've got these questions, I don't really know where to go um, for a devotion for this morning. And then as I just hear my pastor um, in my head and he's saying go with what you do know and I know God is good I know God is great I know God should be feared I know God should be loved because he loved us first and so he um, he deserves our love and our respect um, and as I am thinking about those things then I found um, uh, Deuteronomy chapter number 10 and looking at verse number 17 it says for the Lord your God is the God of gods and Lord of Lords, a great God, a mighty and a terrible, which uh, regardeth not persons, nor taketh reward. As I'm studying about Proverbs and Proverbs about wisdom, I was asking for wisdom. I have some questions. I have some decisions. Um, I have some, you know, budget things that we're going over. And I just, you know, I don't know if we should tweak the plan a little bit, if we should change something up, if, I mean, I don't know. Um, and as I was asking the Lord these things that I don't know, and I was going to his word, seeking answers and seeking guidance and counsel, um, and as I'm reading through the book of Proverbs, I do have a lot of questions that, I, that there's a lot of things that I don't get, and there's a lot of things that I do get. Um, Proverbs 1-7 being one of those that as I'm, as I have some questions in Proverbs, and then I'll, and I'll say that Proverbs chapter 3 is, is one of my, you know, has one of my favorite verses, and it and it's telling me to lean not unto my own understanding, you know, trust in the Lord and lean not unto thine own understanding. So I don't have to, I don't have to understand everything. I don't have to get it all. I'm worried that I'm going to miss something. I'm worried that I'm going to be 
um, you know, miss something the Lord has for me because I just can't seem to get it in my brain. But the same time, the Lord reminds me to lean not into my own understanding. In all my ways, and all thy ways, acknowledge him, and he shall direct my path. So even those things that I don't understand or I don't get, I don't always have to understand it or have to get it. And so in saying that, if I don't get these verses that I'm looking at in Proverbs, if I don't really get it fully, that's okay because day by day by day by day, the Lord is leading me and guiding me. And as long as I'm acknowledging him, as long as I'm looking to him, as long as I'm understanding, I don't know it all. And there's a lot of things that I think I know that I probably have it wrong. And that's okay. Because ultimately, my hope is in the Lord. I'm all my hope is in Jesus. I'm looking to him. I'm not leaning on my understanding. My hope is not in my understanding, but it's in the Lord. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, Proverbs 1, 7, and, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. We have to know that we don't have it all figured out, and that's okay, because we can lean on the Lord. For the Lord, in Deuteronomy 10, 17, for the Lord your God is the God of gods. He is above everything. I don't care who's in power. I don't care who is in charge. Who or thinks they're in charge, God is the God above everything. And the Lord of Lords. He's the Lord of Lords. Um, and he it says here, um, and I just lost my place here for just a second. Uh, there it is. For the Lord your God is the God of gods and the Lord of Lords, a great God, a mighty and a terrible. I mean, this is, means he's awesome. He's amazing. There's nothing he can't do. He is the mighty of mighties. He's above everything, which regardeth not persons nor taketh rewards. I'm so thankful that he does not regard persons. In other words, he doesn't have a, a list of rules for me and then a different set of rules for you. He doesn't play favorites. Um, as parents, sometimes we get accused of playing favorites. I try so difficultly, I try so hard, desperately hard not to play favorites. But yet I know that God is the perfect father and he doesn't play favorites, nor taketh reward. You've got those that can be bought. You've got those that um, can be, you know, can be, you know, you can give them a little bit of this and you can buy their love. You can buy their affection. But God's saying, you can't buy my affection. You can't do enough to earn my affection. I simply love you and you should love me in return because of my love for you. And so a lot of these things that I don't understand and I don't get, then I go back to those things that I do know. I know, I do, I do know that the Lord is my God and he is the God over everything. He is the Lord over everything. He doesn't play favorites. And he doesn't need he doesn't need any kind of purchase to be you know I can't purchase anything but simply relying on him looking to the Lord is as what I want to do um, even even in spite of those things that I don't understand so thank you for joining me I look forward to seeing you again soon.